Hello everyone, my name is Vic of Use Market Biz and for today I am going to share with you the updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news. Okay, so without further ado, let's proceed to the um, topic. So this is the website where you subscribe to receive that newsletter. So it's called preferredcurrency.news. So it's only for $15 a month or $180 a year. Okay, you can also use fiat or cryptocurrency for uh, if you for subscribing here at this website also. Okay, so also if you want to earn crypto each month, you can become an affiliate here by clicking affiliate at the upper right corner of the website. So here's affiliate here. Okay, so let's go to the main topic that is the updates on this newsletter. So this is the newsletter that. Um, they uh, the subscribers received uh, some hours ago okay so this is the main headline so this is so it says private blockchains could be compatible with EU privacy rules so research shows private blockchains such as interbanking platforms set to share information and customers can be compatible with new EU privacy rules According to research published November 6, the study was conducted by Queen Mary University of London and the University of Cambridge, UK. The General Data Protection Regulation or GDPR Act, a recent legislation that regulates the storage of personal data for all individuals within the European Union, came into effect this May. According to the law, all data controllers have to respect citizens' rights in terms of keeping and transferring their private information. In case a data controller fails to do so, the potential fines are set as 20 million euros, about 22 million dollars, or 4% of global turnover revenues, which is higher. Okay, so let's open the uh, full story. So the recent UK study published in the Richmond Un Journal of Law and Technologies views blockchain and its nodes through the length of GPD GDPR. According to the researchers, crypto-related technologies could fall under these rules and be treated as controllers, given that they publicly store private information about EU citizens in the chain and allow third parties to operate it. This the study reveals might slow down technology imp implementation in EU. So there is a risk that this legal uncertainty will have a chilling effect on innovation, at least in the EU and potentially more broadly. For example, if all nodes and miners of a platform were to be deemed joint controllers, they would have joint and several liability with potential penalties under the GDPR. Okay, so however, the researchers emphasize that blockchain operators could be treated like processors instead. The same as the companies behind cloud technologies who act on behalf of users rather than control their data. This, the study continues, it is mostly applicable for blockchain as a service or BAAS offerings, where a third party provides the supporting infrastructure for the network while users store their data and control it personally. As an example for such type of blockchain platform, the researchers set centralized platform for land registry and private interbanking solutions to set up a closed permissioned blockchain platform with a small number of trusted nodes. Such closed systems could effectively comply with GDPR nodes. Um, the report continues. To meet the privacy law, blockchain networks might also store personal data externally or allow trusted nodes to delete the private key for encrypted information, thus leaving indecipherable data on the chain, the researchers state. However, the GDPR rules are extremely difficult to comply with for more decentralized nets, um, such as those concerned with mining and cryptocurrency. 
Okay. So let's read uh, further. Okay, so this is brought to you by Preferred Currency News. So PCN dot today. Okay. So where were we? In this case, the nodes operating the data of EU citizens might agree to fork a new version of the blockchain from time to time thus reflecting mass requests for rectification or erasure. However, in practice, this level of coordination may be difficult to achieve among potentially thousands of nodes, the study reads. reads rather. As a conclusion, the researchers urge the European Data Protection Board, an independent regulatory body behind GDPR, to issue clear guidance on the application of data protection law to various common blockchain models. As Cointelegraph wrote earlier, the GDPR could both support and harm blockchain, despite the fact that current EU legislation partially has the same goals as crypto-related technologies such as the centralizing data control. Blockchain companies could also face extremely high fees as data controllers. Okay, so that is the main headlines for today. So private blockchains could be compatible with EU privacy rules. Right. So the next um, news is Singapore Exchange successfully trials blockchain for tokenized assets settlement. Singapore Exchange Limited or SGX along with the um, Monetary Authority of Singapore has successfully tested the use of blockchain technology for tokenized assets settlement. According to a SGX release issued Sunday, November 11, the report reveals the data on the trial that began on, in August shortly after MAS and SGX had partnered with the U.S. stock market Nasdaq. Big Four consulting company Deloitte and Singaporean tech company Anquan. As per the release, the partners have developed a blockchain-driven solution for delivery versus payment or DVP capabilities, a settlement procedure where the buyer's payment for securities is due to at the time of delivery. All right. Okay, so that is the second um, news. Third is 300 million lending platform cred now offers loans collateralized by Ripple's XRP. So if you want to continue reading further, you can click read more also here, right? So for now, I'm just going to um, mention a, sh a short um, paragraph from the article. So here it is. So the third article on um, this one. So 3 million lending platform cred now offers loan collateralized by Ripple's XRP. Yet again, Ripple is making headway with the ability to form high-profile partnerships and collaborations with established financial entities. Only this time, they are not collaborating with a payment services provider or bank, but rather the, uh, the leading crypto-backed lending firm in the world. Cred the crypto-backed lending firm with over $300 million in credit lending facilities has recently announced that they recognize XRP as an asset class, asset class and will be offering USD loans collateralized by XRP. Okay. So these are the three main headlines. So these are the news updates for today. And let's go to uh, the other updates. So as you can see, there's a lot of um, links here. So once you subscribe, we're going to receive this one. So you're going to have access to this newsletter also. Okay, so here is the updates, uh, the other update on this newsletter. So these are um, the Guru's top coins on his research. So these are Ardor, Cortex, Nano, Nem. Zilliqa, Bitcoin, EOS, Stellar, Davcoin, and BitBay. Okay. So you can also access um, the spreadsheet here as shown on the bottom. So once you have, uh, once you click that one, you're going to be redirected to this um, 
spreadsheet so the ones colored in blue as you can see here are the ones that are showing the best news so these are the ones colored in blue all right so if I, if you still don't understand some t the technical analysis mentioned here I mean, you just contact all the guru who is their publisher this one um, and he will teach you on how to under, uh, how, how to understand the information here right so this is preferred currency dot news spreadsheet okay so there's a lot of other links here and other information also so um, if I were you I would visit preferred currency dot news today and check or contact um, their publisher that you would like to uh, subscribe right for this very nice newsletter so along with it uh, are some tips also like this one okay so I think that's it for today guys so before I go I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself all right so guys this has been Vic once again uh, that's it thank you bye bye